Hello everyone, it's Jason with My RV Inspection and MyRVResource.com. It's like the yellow pages for RV service. So, this is our weekly one reason to get an RV inspection. And uh, a couple weeks ago I showed you uh, lap ceiling issues on a brand new RV on the roof. And once again, I'm on a brand new RV. I'm on the roof. So when I get down, I'm going to show you that this thing was QC'd by the dealership uh, before I got here. And once again, we have lap ceiling issues on the roof. Now this one's worse than the last one. When uh, things are installed on the roof, lap sealants put around the, the penetrations to keep water from getting into the RV. Or at least it should. So what I'm about to show you right now is a solar panel that was installed without putting lap sealant around the mat mounts. So here I go. I'm going to flip the camera around. And you see we have three solar panels. Two of them have lap sealant on the mounts. But this one in the middle, you have exposed screws on the mount. Once again, the other side. And if I can zoom in, we'll see here. Uh, there you go. You can see the silver right there. That's a mount that's not done. And on this side, there's another mount that doesn't have lap sealing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down the roof here. And uh, once I get down from the roof, I'm going to show you the QC sticker on this RV. Uh, it's a travel trailer. Um, you know, just show you where I'm uh, Zoom out. We can see there's my truck. I'm on the roof. So once I get down, I'll, I'll show you where I'm at and show you that this thing was built this month and QC'd before I got here. That's a PDI by the dealership and they missed it. Now that I am now that I am down from the roof, I uh, don't like to try and hold a phone and get down on a ladder and all that. I like to be safe. Um, just going to show you uh, part of the VIN data plate to show you that the date on here is April 2022. Today is April 28th. So let me flip this around and just go right there. For 2022. Okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to look at the QC sticker. Bay 11. It was done three days ago. And unfortunately, they missed that. And that's very important. Water will get into the roof when it's not sealed properly. It's going to cause water damage, mold, all kinds of things. And you're not going to know until it's too late, probably. So, once again, this is Jason with My RV Inspection and MyRVResource.com. Inspecting a brand new RV that was built this month. QC'd or PDI'd three days ago by the dealership and they missed that there's missing lap sealing on the roof do you trust them with their inspection or do you hire somebody that works for you sounds like hiring somebody that works for you is the best way to go if you need to find that rv inspector you can find them on myrvresource.com along with along with many many other types of RV professionals. So that's all for today folks. 
Have a nice day.